What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, episode number 96 of me, Gamer New. We are over encumbered, so we're gonna go ahead and do what we always do. Drop anything that's not magic. Just to make some space. I don't think we sold last time. That's why we have so much stuff at the moment. Quarter staff of dough. <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah, somebody should probably wear this at the very least. There you go. Enjoy. You look good in it, bud. There we go. Alright. We are unencumbered now. I guess this way is our next way. Since we can't go through that little athletics area that I would really like to go through. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. You are so awesome, Lan. Thanks, Lan. How did you get to be so awesome, Lan? Oh, we found a horde. Nothing. Really? Let's move. Nothing? Hello. Atlas quickly greedily looks around the cave, but he touches the walls, his hands tremble. Oh, this. This must be the Sanctum Sanctorum. Perhaps whatever is hidden behind these doors will provoke such violent conflict, or we will find a tomb of forgotten draconic chiefs instead. I must solve this mystery. Would you look at this? Ancient draconic ruins. Even I can only guess their meaning. Simply astonishing. How many centuries old is this place? And do you see this image? This is Apsu spreading his wings over a clutch of glowing dragon eggs. His spouse is direct, supposed to be de depicted right ne here next to him, but the image has been defaced. It's blasphemy. Such cunning magic. I've never faced anything like this before. I'm afraid it will take me some time to unlock this door. Days, days perhaps weeks. I'm sure your duty calls you, so I dare not delay you any farther. Please accept my sincerest gratitude, along with the modest reward, of course. I'll let you know as soon as I find out how to open this lock. I wouldn't be here without your help, and I promise we'll get in this chamber together. Perhaps I can help. I understand the significance of the signs and symbols etched into the deep rock. The into the rock proves to be a challenge. Your keen mind is able to grasp the elusive glimpses of the meaning child, future, and world. This is ancient magic. You cannot conquer it with brute force. It will require many days of thoughtful study and examination. Allow me to deal with this tedious work, Commander, and do not trouble yourself. Something about a child and the future of dragons. How oh, very interesting. Perhaps this is a metaphor. Maybe this was something immensely pre precious to dragons hidden behind this door. Something that is vitally important to their future and their future of the entire world. We stand on the brink of a great discovery. Can't you break it down? Hey, boy, what are you doing? This is some important research material. You can't treat an ancient relics that way. But then how do we find out what's hidden there? What a perplexing dilemma. Here's what we're going to do. After analyzing the situation, weighing the pros and cons, I found a solution. First we study, then we break it. No, 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 wait. Don't do that. We have no way of knowing how the spell works. What if opening the door by force causes everything inside to be destroyed? No, no. It's too great a risk. Besides, you see that bell? It might alert someone when we try to break down the door. Someone we don't want warned of our presence. Planning to open a door and take all the treasure yourself? So you distrust me? What a pity. Believe me, if I had the habit of swindling people, I'd be a the court archaeologist by now or something like that instead of just last month the antiquarian. Besides, it would take all my concentration to unlock the door and I work better when I'm alone. Please trust me like I trusted you. Fine, I'm leaving. Thank you. To be honest, I work better when I'm alone. I'll let you know as soon as I succeed. Cross into the chamber without you. The bell is covered in runes and looks as if it was put here recently. Touch the door. Apparently you open it through Follow the... Me. Is there really nothing hidden here? That's just crazy to me. Oh. I'm only slightly tilted because there is one place I can't get to. And it's this check. I'm wondering if I like come out and come in if I can get into it maybe. March on. Huh. Maybe maybe if we make maybe if we make land big? I gotta rest anyway. Sure, a semi would have been proud of you. Don't speak for the long departed. I've done a lot of things that a semi would not give me a pat on the head for.
Something to break camp of about. You sit and watch the last image of the campfire run away without speaking. Sosa sits beside you and breathes in the smoky air. You feel the warmth of Sosa next to yours. Did you sleep well? Had a wonderful night. You feel something at your side. Looking down, you know Sosa's hand has found its way into your pocket. He seems to think he's being stealthy, but he rummages his wealth of grace instead of leaving an owlbear. Uh. <laughs> did not do that. Sosa slowly fishes an item out of your pocket, something you did not put there. A piece of. A little piece of paper covered in neat handwriting. The young cleric crumples the paper and hides it in his own pocket. It seems another of his romantic gestures went awry. If that is indeed the case, your silence surely spared Socio farther embarrassment. You sit together until it's time to depart, and as you set out, Socio furtively throws a letter to the dying fire. The thin paper blackens and curls quickly. I'm not! All the men in my life want me! Alright, Lan. Become big. We should move. Meditate on your mistakes. It might make you feel better. What the heck? Alright, there there has to be something online about this then. Let's see. Uh let's see here. Open this up. Dragon. Dragon burial ground. Can't use Athletics check. Bug. There we go. Let's see if anyone found a way around it. You can only see the check if the character sends one very specific spot for some reason. If you have the character who will make the check stand there and click the thing, it works just fine. Okay. What's so, over there? Tire no, we in trouble. There we go. Annoying, but we did it. The lower jaw of the dragon skull is fractured and destroyed by a powerful blow. Not really anything important back here, but I was annoyed that I could not get back here, so. Please, somebody, anybody, thank you. It's like, don't, don't make it happen again. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let us be off. Let us be off. Gotta go sell some stuff in the Dresdens. Oh, big stretch. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Big stretch, you know, sometimes. Preachers. Recruitment growth for trainable units increased. Nice. Strengthening the chain of command, please. One day, five days, okay. Four and four. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see if there's anything else on this side that we needed to go to. Technically this. And it'll take a long walk, but let's do it anyway. Recruits! I love recruits. What you got for me? I don't really use Inquisitors. I mean, we have some, but I don't use them as the thing. Alright, step one. Step two. You guys go here. You guys come down here. Right. You're chilling, you're chilling. Continue. Got lots of people to be moving around. Don't think you all can go in there, but that's okay. Definitely not. All right. What am I? Could I get a? Could I get a new general? What, what are all my generals right now? Eh. I think everybody has moved at this point. Continue. Thing has been done. Where were where soldiers down and defeated that extinct sentence? The order. In order to reinforce the discipline, the commander's staff counts for new solutions. Uh, let's 
sure recruit more of these guys because I mean we're just building up magic right now anyway energy points sorry not magic I think you can be upgraded at this point too all right what new things might be able to be added into you here we go oh that sucks Yeah, let's build a mercenary guild. Build a sanctuary. Let's throw in a teleportation circle at this point. <coughs> Hospital? Hospital. Garrison stables. Yeah, throw in a citadel too. And chill. <laughs> That's probably enough for now. We can just we don't really need to build it. I think we're getting we're already getting five anyway, which is the achievement. So we're kind of just chilling on all that. I don't know how to push in to 10 on this group, but I think I need to switch out one of my units is the thing. That's how I'm going to be able to do it. I think I need to get rid of somebody. I mean, honestly, I'm debating upon getting rid of quite a few, these, both of these guys, honestly. Yeah, I know, you're close to getting taken out. It's just, it's a rough fight, man. It's a rough fight, those archers. Those two groups of archers need to be able to take them out in like one turn. It's just not the easiest of things to do. Continue. Nope. It's a waste of time for now, sorry. Time to meet with the Queen and Dresden. No, I'm busy. Interesting. I analyze the aerodynamic properties of your wings, demon girl. My conclusion? They are incapable of flight. And yet they do fly. I hope this isn't the only time I manage to violate the laws of the universe. Me too. I also hope. Continue! Pause. The arrival of Queen Galfrey. To be here for her, her before her post haste? Yes, soon! Soon, boss, soon, I promise. One more, I just got things to look at over here. If you'll uh, give me a moment. Oh, I thought that was a random encounter. I should have gone to that one. Dang it. Alright, let's check this out. Defenders of Freedom have been recruited. Yay! No Xanthir's experiments. No, no, no. Teleport home, please. You guys will be heading down here. And then that's everybody. All right. Well, let's hard save here. Just in case. It's like, this is the end of the chapter now. Ha ha. And then I'd be like, no, please. No. I was like, I have other things I really want to do. So I'd have to like, yeah, rest in other places and stuff. Aren't you tired of your endless work? Take a break from your righteous labors and let's go for a walk. I'm going to draw a couple of studies for your portrait. And you standing proudly against the background of the city, sir. Are you really going to paint my portrait? 
Of course, I can think of a word worthy while. Is it just me or are you up to something? Come with me and you'll see. Of course, come on. Thank you, you won't regret this. No romance, so still. No romance. No, mm, there's no, none of that. None of that. And I don't like you like that. I like you, just not like that. Hmm, perhaps hmm, this won't work. Off background, doesn't suit you at all. What else have you been drawing lately? Fortress mostly knights, soldiers, priests, prisoners, masons, refugees, people full of hope, people full of rage, people so numb with grief they cannot speak. So many people pass before our eyes every day. If I could paint, I, if I could, I'd paint every single person in the city until none of their faces ever be forgotten. So I don't where we're going. Weather's well, been strange lately, how's that? I don't know, I just keep up the talk. Ooh, yes, paint me in front of the banner, so sick. Don't tell me. I only say I'd hope the world wind's influence would recede once we cleanse the city. I'd hope the normal weather would return. I still shiver whenever it rains blood. Perhaps I was naive. Still, there's nothing to worry about once we win the warm winds, gentle rains, and rainbows will return. Are you tell me where we're going. No! You and Darren both! What we'll makes you think we're going somewhere in particular? We're just walking around the city looking for a place that will inspire an artist and emphasize the beauty of the model. Aha! This is the perfect place. Stand over there, please. Wow, never would have guessed. As soon as you stand where social indicated the cleric signals for someone out of sight, an unseen orchestra begins to play. Overwhelmed by the sound of trumpets and violins, you feel something light and fragrant start to rain down on you. An actor dressed as an angel sits on the wall above your head and taking handfuls of flower petals from a large tube and sprinkling them all over you. Gregor, you are a hero and a leader to many. Some of us are lucky to call you a friend and brother in arms, but I want to know you mean so much more to me. My god has encouraged us to succeed in everything we do, and our appearance, deeds, and thoughts, but I do not think she will condemn me if I say I have found the perfection we stole in our hymns to her, I found it in you. Of all mortals in our imperfect world, you are the most beautiful. I understood this first time I saw you. Now I kneel before you and ask you to humbly allow me to be with you. My heart is yours if only you'll take me. Uh. <laughs> oh, they're all so mean! Seems like, which one was it? It was the el elegy of ever blossoming spring. You didn't like it? Does that mean you don't want to be with me? Uh, thank you for this, but I must say no, you're dear to my heart, but only as a friend. I understand. I promise that you will never hear another word about it. Your friendship is just as important to me. I hope this won't affect it in any way. Tears in his eyes. No, it made Sosa cry! It made David, it made David sad, it made Sosa cry. It's just no good. It's no all good. Greetings to the leader of my crusader host. I received regular reports about the course of your activities, and I wish to take a moment to publicly thank you, Knight Commander. Your victories as a military commander are undeniable and will not be forgotten. The future of the Crusades is in good hands. I will not disappoint you. I am pleased that we happen to meet and work together on this one matter, Commander. We will discuss future plans and military objectives later. Now, for the main purpose of my visit, the Hand of the Inheritor summoned me here. He believes that you will require my help when you attack the Midnight Fane. A demon lord temple virtually on top of a Crusader stronghold. No one could have predicted it. The sooner we bring it down, the better. Yeah, I'll do this. There's something you should know, my queen. I was in a Rilu Vorlesh's laboratory and discovered part of the Lecon of Paradox. It contains information about the natures of rifts. Oh my. This could prove very important. Even the merest hint of how to close the world room will be useful to us. I will task my finest court magis to study this text. You must consider the attack on the Midnight Fane to be extremely important, since it has warranted a personal visit. Of course. We reclaimed Dresden. This is a significant achievement for the Fifth Crusade. It was the moment when we proved that we could win. But we must take the next step. <clears throat> we must capture a valuable asset of the enemy. The Fane is the ideal target, because it will allow us to eliminate the threat hanging over Dresden and destroy a key outpost of the Abyssal armies in one foul swoop. That is why I am here, and why I shall be going on the attack with you. What will your presence add to the assault on the Fane? I don't wish to boast, Commander, but on my own I'm worth as much as a whole troop. Besides, I feel that I am needed here, 
and my blade has sat in its scabbard long enough. What is happening in Mendev? Calm. And by that I mean like the calm before the storm. We fended off an attack on Rosian, and since then, aside from a few skirmishes on the frontier, we have seen neither hide nor hair of any demons. There is good news as well. Word of the Fifth Crusade's victories is spreading far and wide, inspiring new volunteers to join our ranks. The Church of Ayomade has received a record number of donations, which are now being used to keep your forces fed and armed. We are growing stronger, and we have to believe that this newfound strength will be enough to win this war. Would you like to attend my military and political council meetings? No, I put you in charge of the crusade and therefore I must trust you. If you want my advice, ask Lady Kanome. Her words are my own. Need more time to prepare. Give me a sign when you are ready. Yeah, not yet. Not yet, boss. Command. This is Corporal Nickel Bartley. He was a table stealing army property. During interrogation, he admitted to being one of the leaders of the Fellows of the Crusade. Based on his account, we've identified and arrested the rest of the leaders of the Fellows. The law says this kind of offense in wartime warrants a noose. But they are our soldiers, after all. We've fought together more than once. It's rotten hanging your comrades. I say we boot them all the way to an erosion in chains, let them be tried like common thieves. They'll serve their time, and hopefully the sorry excuses for bandits will wise up a bit. Well, bandits, bandits would have already hightailed it from Dresden. These guys are all right. We could use them for things. Don't split on your mates, Gregor. Now that's low. Let's tuck them away in some far-off garrison, and if anybody asks, they'll say they liked it. They have stumbled. They're criminals, but they're also mortals who have chosen to risk their lives in order to stop a demonic invasion. Surely that mitigates their guilt, at least a little. There's no need for trials or gallows to show them mercy and give them a chance to atone for what they've done. Well, I think they're bandits, plain and simple, and the gallows is where they belong. I can tie nooses for every one of them if you'd like. Well, Bartley, tell me exactly what you did. I did what I did, I won't lie. I'll tell you everything, and you can do what you will. Pardon me if you'd like, and if not, go ahead and execute me. Here's how it went. In the last battle, some of our company ran into some Indians with an infectious plague. When we got back to the barracks, half of them came down with something. They were hot as coals and raving, crying green slime instead of tears, and the smell, they were rotting alive. The healers helped everyone they could, bless them, but there weren't enough healing potions for everyone. So my guys are lying there, running away, and the quartermaster, that curry, just shrugs. We're out, he says, looking at me all smug. Well, we roughed him up a bit, checked his cabinet, and what do you know? He did have potions, the whole crate of them. We ran straight back to the infirmary, and we saved our friends, and that was it. They shackled us and brought us to you for judgment. And if you think I'm a criminal, then fine, send this. Send me. But I reckon the real criminals here are the quartermasters. They just sit there, fat and happy, hoarding all the goods the kingdom gave them. Meanwhile, we're flopping out about in the dirt and in blood. And if we need anything, the answer's always the same. We're out. Corporal Bartley forgot to mention that he beat the quartermaster almost to death and left him to bleed out. It's a miracle the poor man's still breathing. That the healing potions were intended for command staff. The quartermaster had an order. He was to die sooner than let anyone steal items of strategic importance. The death of a trained officer is much heavier blow than the death of a common soldier. Without capable officers, our losses would grow tenfold. He also failed to mention a dozen previous cases of theft, which cannot be so neatly excused by touching concern of his comrades. In a whole warehouse were the stolen goods he stashed near the city walls. No way around it, lads. You've been caught. We have to punish you, otherwise we can kiss any sense of order goodbye. Corporal, do you have anything else to say in your defense? You can't, can't put it all on us. We're soldiers. We've told to survive and fight another day, and that's exactly what we're doing. It's our blood that pays our for our victories. And if you're win and if we're winning and Mendev still can't give us what we need, then they're not scumbags. Back when you could grab something straight from the caravan without going through the quartermaster we managed, but now you've got these stuffy Nerosians following the carts around. I bet they've se never seen a demon in their lives. All they're good for is threatening our comrades with spears. You're the one who forces us to resort to desperate measures. Let's talk about options. What is your suggestion, Will Jeff? If everybody pulled me out of the bars and cadavers, I you ever regretted it since eh, don't answer that actually anyway what i mean is they may be thieves but they're still here and the world's goddamn to wound fighting demons even though they could be miles away by now if they wanted all right they messed up but these are our guys we still need in this war save these skins for skins now and they'll be loyal to you forever hush this all up keep it out of court send them off into some remote fort somewhere they won't forget your kindness just you wait they'll fight for you until the day die or we win what's your opinion Rishale? Commander, we are more than an army. We're crusaders. A holy brotherhood that protects this, this beautiful world from absolute evil. These people have committed a crime and need to be punished, but we can't treat them like common marauders. There can be no place for whips and gallows in this sacred march. Spare them. Give them a chance to atone as you did for me. You'll see it. They'll work much better than most of your punishment. Yeah, what's the point of punishing criminals anyway? We can just wag a finger at them and ask them for a pinky promise never to do it again. And tomorrow these dirtbags will steal our whole citadel one brick at a time to build themselves nice little mansions. With a view of the wound. What's your advice, Lan? Are these acts of crusaders? No, they're acts of highwaymen, and at the end of the highway, there's a tall tree with a sturdy branch waiting for them. The fact that they're crusaders doesn't excuse them. On the contrary, their crimes are corrupting our army from the inside. There can be no prison for them, only execution. And let it be known, if anyone falls, if anyone pockets a single button from our spoils over again, let alone commits a robbery, they'll share the same fate. They're not some outsiders. They broke the law, I guess, but before that, they didn't, didn't they prove that they were ready to die for complete strangers? I agree that they should do penance for their sins, but they shouldn't do it here, among us repentantly serving the crusaders' cause. Here's Linda, what's your solution? 
We're at war, and in war there's only one sentiment type of thing, execution in the front ranks. But warriors of the Crusade should get some leniency for their past deeds, shouldn't they? I've looked into the record of every fellow, and let me say this. None of them have ever faltered in combat. None of them have ever abandoned their comrades. They fought with daring and bravery, and they've given it all their all, and the other soldiers respect them. It feels awful to hang people like that. We'll send them to the Nerosia and let the judge give them five or so years of hard labor. They say it cleaves your head right up. Yeah, they... Yeah, they clearly forgot that Mendev only rich and nobles and rich people are allowed to steal. Oh, pardon me, not steal. Collect taxes and care about their wealthy selves. And if a simple lad grabs a loaf without permission because he's starving, his options are gallows and hard labor. Man, I love this country we're protecting. Let's touch this up and send the offenders to a dis distant fort. I wish them luck in their escape. I like this. Great. You'll see. It always pays to have folks around who are grateful to you personally. Make them work for the rescue. And we'll tell the soldiers some tale about a daring escape. On and on and on. A pack of trained bullies. I hope this doesn't does it for our fellows problem who knows maybe we our supply situation is finally sorted and we won't have to assemble the logistics council in full again we can only hope commander permission to report the army's disposition is growing dangerous more and more soldiers express their distrust towards you and your mythical powers they grumble in their lack of understanding of where you're leading them and what their plan is what's worse the wary have once again emerged from the officers they're adding fuel to the fires of sedition and we've already had cases of direct insubordination you have to win back the trust of the soldiers forthwith or else the army will be paralyzed some privates have already refused to march into battle I suggest we make your strategy clear by setting up a bulletin board. It could have a new statement with your name on it every week. Every two weeks, you can invite delegates from your soldiers to ask any questions they may have. It feels like the soldiers are discouraged and dismayed. We should embolden them by rem reminding them that the crusade is more than just about death and danger. This is a time of camaraderie and valor. Maybe we could adorn the city with an inspiring monument or two that kind of that lifts your spirits whenever you walk by. The soldiers have the right to ask their general's questions, but they have no right to disobey orders simply because their curiosity isn't being satisfied. They're committing sabotage. The penalty for sabotage is a court-martial. We will retire for our soldiers and pour them free beer on the commander's half. That's the easiest way. The wary again? I thought we took care of that problem. Not compl not a completely, apparently. We haven't yet solved the main issue. Far too many officers to believe that the queen herself should be in charge of the crusade. No matter how many feats you've achieved, they still consider you an upstart. We'll have to do something about them soon. But the unrest but the unrest among the soldiers is the most pressing matter at hand. What do you think about the wary? They're your comrades in arms, after all. I think of them as traitors, commander. This expression, this expression darkens for a moment. Ah. What is it exactly that my soldiers find worrying? Your mythical powers. Yes, they do secure us one victory after another, but even the most loyal troops raise questions from time to time. They wonder, who are you? Or are you immortal like the rest of us, perhaps an emissary from other spheres? And if so, then which ones? Are you truly fighting for sick crusaders' cause, or do you have your own ulterior motives? All this paves the way for the endless speculation. What's your plan, Sila? I have doubts that explaining battle strategies will help our people in any way. They're fighting a brutal war, maybe the most worst war in Galarian's history. They're exhausted and scared. If we want to help them, we have to give them courage. We're already making an effort, but I would suggest also adorning our fortresses with monuments, not growing ones with something heroic or uplifting. That way soldiers who are about to march out, or have just marched in, will be able to smile like at them like old friends. I had a marble friend like that once. The recruits in our order believe that rubbing the hilt of the stone sword would bring you good luck. Dismissing mutinous talk as exhaustion and lack of support is fundamentally wrong. Those few with conscience serve well and true as it is, without question. However, how, those who can afford to doubt and ignore their orders are a step away from being deserters. Who will remain deaf to any pleas and arguments, and even more so to inspiring embellishments? What do you suggest, Rigel? The insider's bodies hanging from the gallows will answer any and all questions. Sedition must be extinguished swiftly and mercilessly. It's absurd even to consider convincing or appeasing the doubtful. That could be more counterproductive. The sight of hanged bodies will absolutely stop the soldiers from asking questions, but it won't stop them from thinking, for example, will they hang me next? Did I make a mistake by joining this army? Is it about time I made a run for it? Your opinion, Darren? There is a centuries-old cure for grouches and complainers. Alcohol and a little cheer. We'll build more taverns, buy them with the strong beer, and treat the soldiers once or twice. Courtesy of the treasury. They'll leave their doubts behind in a blink of an eye, proclaiming the best, most beloved commander who ever lived. I'll be the first to agree that taverns are a good thing to have, but they're not enough to, to support their army's fighting spirit. If we don't give our soldiers something more than drinks, our taverns will just become places to drown their sorrow or vent their frustrations through brawls. What would you advise? If soldiers don't understand you, then you must bridge the gap between you and them create means of direct communication so to speak we'll set up a bulletin board that will simply put keep everyone informed of the situation on the front and the basics of our strategy in addition we'll set up times when once every two weeks the soldiers can send delegates to ask you any lingering questions generals under no obligation to report to their soldiers they end up disputing your every word and second guessing your orders before you know it in some exceptional cases a general may seek counsel from experienced veterans but turning your headquarters into a thoroughfare is a sure way to destroy your authority bulletin board pretty tell how many of our soldiers can actually read maybe we should engrave this board with some obscene carvings then it'll be useful i like your idea captain Glad to be of service. I'll tell the soldiers to choose their own delegates. You'll have the first, the text of your first address to our troops on your table today. What do we do? Yay! Chapter four. We, we got the achievement. Success! Let's move. Hey, Queenie. How are you, Queenie? You have to call me well, Queenie. Are you ready? No. Give me a no. Not ready. Not ready yet. Sorry. Plenty more to be doing before I'm ready.
We got lots more to do. a small gap in your guard. When you strike to the side, you leave your shoulder open for a counter strike. Really? I never noticed. Get yourself a practice stick and show me. Hey, look at that. They're bonding. The the evil guy and the land who's not supposed to be evil, but kind of leading that way every once in a while. Not gonna lie. Really? I never noticed. Get yourself a practice stick and show me. I'm gonna just sell stuff up in here. It's a quick spot. Bulk selling. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff in there to sell too, but yoink! Let's see what you got in here for me. Anything good? Nope. I'm surprised you don't have ingredients in here, honestly. That's okay. Alright, time to dip. We still got some things to explore and some quests to do. I just don't know what all they are, you know? Let's check it out. Still gotta find Trendelove. Still... Gotta fight that guy. Gotta find Zanidra. Galfrey's ready. We're not done with that yet, so. Also, oh, those that one can wait. That's it, really. Yeah. Those three, four. Which this one we know how to do. Not sure where she's at. This one's just a hard fight. And I don't know where Trindelove's thing is, so. I have an idea for the hard fight. Um. It's just an idea. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I think I'm going to pull... I think I want to take Darren, my summoner, with me. And maybe I can have that guy cast his stuff on the summons and I pull everybody else really far back and then just try to just waylay him with touch attacks. I think is the plan to me. I think we... I think honestly... You might be good because of your channel to hit undead. Darren for the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring you back. Bring you just because you have trickery and stuff. This might be the setup against that fight, honestly. Maybe. I mean, maybe. I don't know. It's It's a hard fight, man. The diet guy is like 50 AC. Got people coming in. Collared Crusaders. A Chalexian lord with an escort of battle slaves wishes to join the crusade, but many crusaders love slavery. They ask the commander to free the thralls and banish the outland. Buy and free the slaves. Yeah, I'll buy them. Those freed slaves went to Mendev in search of a new home. The soldiers were inspired by the commander's journey. Yeah, I'm not going to steal the slaves from I mean it's not a, it's not illegal everywhere so well, it's not illegal everywhere means I'm not gonna just take them now if it were just straight illegal probably would but All right, we got some armies to crush let's go wait were we finally 10 power hi Or it might have finally been 10 power. Oh, we're 9 power still. Dang. you in uh, this general direction. Alright, it's everybody. You're headed towards Winter Sun. 
That's my plan, is he cause he can channel to hurt undead, because I'm pretty sure they're undead. That was enemies. Not exactly sure how oh, what's that? More helmets, nice. Gonna make it, but that's all right. Good luck. You move fast and far. What do you got? Stone skin, Pharaoh's curse, curse of the black sand. Sagar receives mighty penalty. Attack, minus five to initiative, minus the penalty, reflex save, also receives damage three rounds. Oh, it's flying. Ah, that's funny. Now, these guys are not very strong. You guys are actually pretty. I did not mean to hit W there, that sucks. a dispel really sure you can fight that guy they're stacked up a little more Army's very weak. Paladins are really the strongest we've got in this army. Good job. You leveled up. Congratulations. Get a heal. Stop. What's going on in Dresden? Chant the wicked dope. Right. This army is just waiting for this army to catch up. So, yeah, that's everybody. Definitely want to rest before we try this. I wonder if a ringing effect similar to a bell is produced inside the helmet of Iomade's herald when the phrase in the name of Iomade is exclaimed. This hypothesis requires its own experiment. I need a bucket. You need a bucket. I agree. Get a bucket. Bucket! 
All right, let's head in. This is my only idea. Because the spell obviously wasn't working. There's where the fight takes place, right? So, so what if we set up like over here and drag him down to here maybe and we summon up here? I mean the summons aren't meant to do anything. Mayo, the world's not ending just yet. Darren. Really? Search for the beauty with your heart, not your eyes. Does this fix that? Because he's going to take forever. Nope! <laughs> it doesn't fix it. That's annoying. Like, that's good. He's going to literally take, like, ten minutes to walk up here. Why would you bring him with you? Ever. So he's going to take so dang long. Summon all the monsters. Yep, we got a lot of, uh, Sway from my path. Just kind of seeing what all we got here, you know, while we're waiting on this man to make his long walk over. Not a hundred percent they poison, but uh, we'll see. Hi, I'm here now. Okay. Hmm? Oh, yes. Haste everybody up. Bright future. We're still gonna cast our spells that we would normally ready. cast. But, uh, prove my worth. Rules yeah. are made to be broken. My will is resolute. Okay. Let me help. Alright, everybody. We will win this war. So Together Honestly, we stand. No, like everybody Please except like you. Allow me. Because you'll be the quickest. Follow me. We'll give this one shot with this episode. I'm prepared. I'm trusting you. And then we'll try it again to the next episode if it doesn't work. Because I'm not fully confident this will work. And she's not yours! I actually wanted to check out his thing a little bit more. Neutral old undead. Chill. I'd like to give her a heal just so she doesn't like die. You're chilling there. Everybody's chilling. Now. Maybe. 
maybe we should spread out even more. Good try. Plan is working, okay, okay. Might take a long time. But water elemental disappeared. I don't know where water elemental went, but water elemental disappeared. Casting his stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Trying to fight the shadow team. It's not working. You're going so poorly. Let's see, what do you got? Anything cool? Sure, why not? Buff everybody up. Be like his own creatures at that point, so no, none of that. Ooh, 
We know they're not going to hit him. That's okay. got the plague right now Might work, in, some of us are in the plague, which is bad. I don't know how he's getting two turns, but I'll take it. Okay, I get another turn. to be able to cast but we need to fall back. <laughs> Whatever, you get in there. It doesn't matter if you die. Back off zero. Gregor, how you doing? Not good. <laughs> Who's doing the worst right now, please? Four decks. A three strength. Five decks. Three strength is doing the worst. fight them. They're doing what they can do, I guess. It's, uh, it's gonna be a long Sorry, that didn't get rid of the bubonic plague. Should have. I'm like pretty positive that it should have. I'm not sure why it didn't. Again. 
Do I have anything I can take for this? I don't know. Maybe remove curse will work? I don't think it's a curse though. It's not a curse. It's a disease. So, uh, let's see. can't do much right now, can you? You could try to treat your affliction, I guess. That works. I think Darren needs to get out of there. Alright, I'm going to bring you guys back towards the end of the fight, because this is literally just going to be this. So I'll bring you back when something exciting happens, because this episode's going on for a while. See you then, guys. Peace. He is super close to dead. Uh, we had to try this another time. Oh no, I missed my best damage dealer turn because he's only because he's laying down now. Uh, basically, what I've been doing instead, because he's been one-shotting a lot of things, is I've been summoning these guys and sending them in. And since they summon instantly, they take it takes a long the turns take a long time, right? But they get up there and they can't get affected by this random stuff. Which is nice that I, I I learned that out while I was playing this, and they don't do like any damage. They've hit a couple times because they crit, but they don't do like any damage ever. And they're literally just taking at every spell in the world. That's all they're trying to do. And all I'm doing is tossing in magic missiles. And I mean that's I mean that's pretty much all. I'm doing. Unfortunately, now we don't have any more of that, so we'll send in a Mastodon, I guess. Which, it'll probably, it'll probably just die, like that, but that's okay. And he's taking long turns. Nidio's gonna kill him with magic missiles soon. Like, it's gonna be a turn or two, and we're gonna have it. And I know I said I'd bring you back when he was dead, but I figured, I don't know, you guys maybe wanted to see the strategy here. It's uh, it's a bit of strategy, I'll tell you that much. This is when Dayron's useful, is you bring him in for summoning. <laughs> that's that's when you use him. You don't use him any other time, for me at least. Like, one more good magic missile and this guy is dead. If I was confident, I'd walk him in there. And just uh, cast on him. Apparently, we just got 13,000 XP, by the way. Lands, dark moons, winds, gray songs. Muttering something indecipherable, and Miyamir drops her knees before the sea of his desk, grasping handfuls of it and pouring it from one hand to another. What a sorry sight. Get up, sister Miyamir. You must stand trial. M Mia, Mia, who? What do you think I should do with her? Sane or not, desertion is a crime. She's, but she's in no state to be at the front. Send her an erosion. Let the queen herself pass judgment on her. Look at her, she's raving. She doesn't know where she is. She's not fit to stand trial, let alone be punished. She needs a healer, not an interrogator. She's not herself. We'll send her to the rear for healing. Thank you. We should show mercy now, and only later consider whether harsh consequences are also warranted. You're too lenient, but I suppose she's punished herself enough already. Success! Save before someone walks into it. I don't know if there was any loot for that fight. I also <laughs> don't know how long this lasts. But if there's loot, I'll bring you back for it. But if not, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. We did it. Let's check our XP. So close to level 14. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, wait. No, wait. It's gone. Uh, no, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Here's the loot, just so you guys know. It's all right here. We got a corrosive quarterstaff. We got hide armor plus four. Shapeshifter's helmet. Ring of protection and cloak of resistance. I don't think there's going to be anything else up here, but I figured I told you guys I'd bring you back if there was something, and so I did. Did bring you back. I did. I did Let I did. us be off. But there's nothing up here. All right, that's going to do it for me now, guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace. We'll probably be back in Dresden next time, but I don't know.
Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace!